For simplicity's sake, we'll represent the two LANs like this. Many milestone systems connect to the internet. To do so, they must connect to a router or firewall through the default gateway. While a switch connects devices or hosts together in a network, a router connects networks together, forwarding data based on their destination IP addresses. A router is connected to two or more data lines from different networks. The physical interface of those data lines can take many different shapes. An RJ45 Ethernet interface, a coaxial cable TV interface, RJ11 telephone interface, DSL connections, a Wi-Fi interface, an optical fiber interface, and any number of other standards. When a data packet is received on one of the network interfaces, the router reads the address information in the packet to determine the ultimate destination. Then, using information in its routing table or routing policy, it directs the packet to the next network on its journey. A firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. It typically establishes a barrier between a trusted, secure internal network and an outside network, such as the Internet, that is not assumed to be secure or trusted. In smaller networks, the router and the firewall are often built into the same device, and so the terms firewall and router are sometimes used interchangeably in casual conversation. However, the two perform different functions. In a very simplified way, routers allow networks to communicate with each other, while firewalls limit some traffic between networks. A default gateway is a network node, specifically a router, that is assumed to know how to forward packets onto other networks. A network device, such as a host NIC, may have a default gateway defined, in which case all packages with a destination IP address that doesn't match the network address of the NIC are sent to the default gateway for further routing to the intended destinations. With system configuration like this, a remote smart client can connect directly to the server through a VPN. Here's a Windows PC running XProtect smart client. The Smart Client Workstation is used by operators to access and view live video and audio, control cameras, manage alarms, view and export recorded evidence, and configure views. A Virtual Private Network VPN, extends a private network by establishing an encrypted virtual point-to-point -point connection across a public network such as the Internet. A VPN connection can be either remote access, connecting a computer to a network, or site-to-site. -site connecting two networks. A remote access VPN can, for example, allow an employee or business owner to access the company network from home or while traveling outside the office. The remote access VPN is usually initiated from a software VPN client on the user's device, typically a workstation or laptop, but it can also be a mobile device and is terminated in the gateway firewall. A site-to-site -site VPN can allow hosts in geographically disparate offices to share one cohesive LAN. The site-to-site -site VPN is usually initiated between two gateway router firewalls and is usually completely transparent to the users. Finally, let's add mobile and web connectivity with a milestone mobile server. Typically, the web client will connect to the mobile server by port forwarding to the mobile server with HTTP on port 8081 and with HTTPS on port 8082. The Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP, is an application protocol for distributed, collaborative, hypermedia information systems. HTTP is the foundation of data communication for the World Wide Web. Hypertext is structured text that uses logical links, hyperlinks, between nodes containing text. HTTP is the protocol to exchange or transfer hypertext. In its popular deployment on the Internet, HTTPS provides authentication of the website and associated web server with which one is communicating, which protects against man-in-the-middle attacks. Additionally, it provides bidirectional encryption of communications between a client and server, which protects against eavesdropping and tampering with or forging the contents of the communication. In the Internet Protocol Suite, a port is an endpoint of communication in an operating system. While the term is also used for hardware devices, in software, it's a logical construct that identifies a specific process or a type of network service. 
A network port is associated with the IP address of a host and provides access to a specific service on that host. It's identified by a 16-bit port number, for example, 0 to 65535. Services can be assigned or reassigned to any port desired. For security purposes, the mobile server is often placed into a DMZ, demilitarized zone. In computer security, a DMZ, sometimes referred to as a perimeter network, is a physical or logical subnetwork that contains and exposes an organization's external facing services to a typically larger and untrusted network, usually the internet. The purpose of a DMZ is to add an additional layer of security to an organization's local area network, LAN. An external network node can access only what is exposed in the DMZ, while the rest of the organization's network is firewalled. You just learned how networking basics relate to the operation of an XProtect system. Visit our YouTube site to view other tutorials in this playlist.